Okay, so we're going to make a picture like this, um, inspired by uh, um, some images here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to call this the leave the door open. This is a where you take a door, you put it in a location where that door isn't normally, and then you have something coming through that door. Um, in this case, this is a really cool one. They have this door that's just on a beach. Uh, this was actually a real photo. It's an art installment, but then they had Monsters, Inc. coming out of it. This one, you have this really cool archway, but it looks out into stars and in the universe. Um, this one, you have a cowboy looking over here and then into the city, kind of deciding which one he wants to go to. There's Monsters, Inc. again. They use that one because their hands come over, so you can give that cool 3D effect. Um, this one, there's a lady golfing, and but it's obviously not the same golf course, but it's this really cool area. Um, this one is this dark black and white thing, but in the background, you see the uh, kind of the light coming through. This one's like looking into a plane, but it's on this futuristic landscape. This is cement looking onto a beach. Godzilla coming through a door. So these are all really great ideas, and I want to show you how to get to something like that. We're going to get started um, and how I got to this. Okay, so step one, I use a website called Unsplash. So I'm going to just type in Unsplash. Oops. Try again. There we go. Unsplash. It's a, a free images that are high resolution. It is important when you're doing Photoshop battle work to make it look to make it look really good. You want a larger image. The larger your image, the more detail work you can do to make it look more realistic. Okay. I mean, you don't have, I mean, you don't have to, but for my assignment, I want my students to try and, and use a higher resolution. So I'm going to look up first, um, busy city street. Okay. I'm going to start with a busy city street. I don't know why there's a bear. Um, and then there's these, when you go here, there's what images you can like buy. And then down below are the free images. So I'm going to find, a busy city street. Um, there's a, quite a few of those. I like this one right here. So I'm going to click on it. To get the high res version of this, I think you can even right click and copy image. I'm going to just try that real quick. I'm going to go to Pixlr and I'm going to make sure I'm using the advanced version of Pixlr. And I'm going to pick Control V paste. And let's see how big that is. Um, that one's 1100 by 700. That's not bad, actually. Um, you can also do this. I just want to show you. If you click download for free, um, it will give you the free download into your desktop or your downloads, wherever you want to save it. it. Gives the name of the creator, and you can save that. And then you can click on this little folder button for, in Chrome, show in folder or wherever your downloads are, and you can drag that into. I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to open up this, and I'm going to go uh, back to home, and I'm going to drag. I'm going to drag that image in just to, so you can see the size difference. So this one, I'm going to create new, and it's already 1920 by 1080. I can go bigger if I want. Um, if you want to be really detailed, see this image was 5,000 by 3,000. I'm going to apply that. I'm just going to take the full HD, and that's 1920 by 1280. And that's a nice resolution there. And then I could put a door right here in the middle of the street or to the side, um, wherever I want. Now. I'm going to go back to Unsplash because I want to get another high res photo, the 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 um door frame. I'm just going to put door. You can just write door. And that's a cool looking door. Now, I am really only going to be taking the frame of the door. So you might want to look for something where you like the frame um and you feel like you can easily cut it out. So like doors that have a nice square feature or like I mean that looks really cool. I'm going to I'm going to go with um I saw one that's kind of cool. I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to download that version of this picture by Alexander Tsang and I'm going to save that Alexander Tsang, okay? It should go in my downloads right here. I'm going to click the little arrow and say show in folder. And that pops up in my folder here and I'm going to open up my Pixlr and I'm going to drag this on top of the image. And then I'm going to say add to current. I want to add this image as a layer. And now it's really big compared to this other one. So I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to shrink it down and then pull it up. 
shrink it down. That's that's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to hit uh, enter to desel. I'm just going to cl click on the deselect. I'm going to try the magic wand. Nah, I'm going to just I'm going to manually do this. Um, now, if you have a straight doorway, like a, a square doorway, you can just use the rectangular selection tool like this, control D to deselect. You can just select right around the door like this. Okay. Let's just pretend this is a square doorway for the minute. Okay. I'm going to select around it and I'm going to hit select invert selection. And what that's going to do is it's going to select everything outside of my selection. Then I'm going to hit delete. And that gets rid of everything except for that link that I just put. So now I'm going to move this link. Oops, control Z, control D. I'm going to take that. Actually, that looks pretty cool right there. I'm going to put it to the side a little bit. I might leave it just like that. Now you'll see there's some extra stuff up here. I'm going to hit enter, um, control D to deselect. I'm going to use the selection square and I'm just going to reach up here and I'm going to make sure I'm on that uh, door layer and I'm going to hit delete. Oh, maybe it's on this layer. Delete. There we go. Which, which one is that? I don't know why. Oh, I must have duplicated it. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need two of those. So there's my door. Control D is going to let me deselect. Now I've got a doorway in the middle of this busy city street. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably clean that doorway out. I might use the eraser. If it's a, Again, if this were a square, the simpler way is just to go like this. Just select it. Go over hit the delete key, and we've got our doorway right here. So now I'm going to just clean that last little bit up like this, hit delete. That's that's not bad. I will I would spend more time on this cleanup. And if you're one of my students, I want you to spend more time making this like really nice and you know, as perfect as you can so that the illusion of the doorway is real. Now we're going to put something behind that that is a different location. So let's go back. I'm gonna to go to Unsplash one more time and I'm gonna put a uh, uh, beach, okay? And I'm gonna look for a cool photo of a nice beach. And I like this one right here with the palm trees. So I'm gonna click on that and it's tall. It's rectangular up and down like a doorway would be. So I'm gonna, um, did I download it? No, let's try again. Let's try download free. I'm downloading this now and I'm saving it, Benjamin Voros. Okay, so I'll remember that name. I will open the folder, show in folder, and then over here, I'm gonna click on the Pixlr and I'm gonna go back to my folder and I'm gonna drag it and drop it. And I'm gonna say, add current. It's gonna be really big, yep. I'm gonna get my selection, my move arrow, and I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna zoom out with my uh, scroll wheel and I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna set it so that that looks like it's coming from right there. Okay, I'm just going to put it over the doorway. See that? Now I'm going to just drag that underneath my door layer and boom, I got it. That's actually pretty good. Just like, it's almost like that. I don't even have to almost have, have don't have to do anything here. Um, I'm going to, if it's too big, you can, uh, you know, use your selection tool and chop off extra pieces, but that actually looks pretty cool. I could erase this rounded arch or I could leave it. It might be really cool to get that rounded arch there. And then I could have someone stepping out. So I'm going to show someone stepping out of that. I'm going to get a person. Um, I'm just going to find a person walking or shaking person, person reaching out. Let's see if I can find a person reaching out. Um, I want to see a hand going kind of sideways so I can see it coming out of my door. Um, but that isn't, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to look up a picture of Shrek, Shrek, uh, hand extended. Okay. And we're going to get his hand extend. Nope. That's not it. Um, let's do Mickey, Mickey mouse hands out. Okay. Okay, there we go. Mickey Mouse with his hand out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try this one here. Pretty common image of Mickey there. Right click, copy image. We're gonna go back here. Um, I'm gonna paste it, Control V. It's gonna paste a new layer. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get my move arrow. 
before I move it, I'm going to hit control D so I don't have that selection on. I'm going to put him so his hand would be like coming out of the door. I'm going to use the magic wand tool. We've done this before where we clean up. I'm just selecting that and hitting delete. And I want to put his body so that control D to deselect so that the arm is coming out of the doorway like, like this. Actually, yeah, like that. I want to see his body and then his hand coming out. Now I'm going to get rid of this part so that it looks like he's in the doorway, leaning out of the door. So how do I do that? I'm just going to go to the layer and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just kind of delete this part here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just make sure I can actually move that selection and use it to delete again. And I'm going to erase right here so that his, he's behind the, um, uh, archway. I'm going to just highlight it, and hit delete because I want it to look like he's in the doorway. And there we go. Mickey Mouse stepping out of the beach in a busy city street. It's not my best work, but to do it really quickly, you can do so many different things and you've seen the samples. Um, and I will post this link for the open door possibilities in the, uh, in the, uh, description of the video. And I hope that helps. I hope that's something that's interesting and fun. And I can't wait to see what you've done with it. Have a great day.